gorgeous lovers welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're seeing my face for the first time you're welcome to my channel please subscribe like and share this video thank you all right guys so i know those of you that have been watching my videos will understand that i'm kind of moody today i'm not my you know normal ginger ginger lady as i always am well, the reason is, if you've been watching the news, if you're African, you probably know what is going on in Nigeria, even if you're not an African. Some of the international news uh, uh, channels, they stay carrying the news. So I guess some of you out there have heard of what is happening in Nigeria and it's really sad. All right, so. On Tuesday, there was a mass murder in Lagos, Nigeria, at Lekki Tollgate. The news is everywhere, on YouTube, everywhere, everywhere. CNN also carried the news, BBC, and some other um, broadcasting companies. All right, so I said yesterday, the president of Nigeria, Mohamed Buhari, actually addressed the country because everyone has been saying, why is it that he has not addressed the country since this whole saga? He only came out to give uh, one statement saying they've accepted what the protesters wanted, but they changed it from SAS to SWAT. And the youths are saying they do not want SAS or SWAT, they need a full reform and other things that they pointed out but the leaders the politicians of nigeria they're playing tricks they're playing politics with the lives of nigerians yesterday he came out and gave a speech that made no sense completely no sense lagos state's governor came out and also granted an interview and he lied because he said there were no casualties. I do not understand how a governor, someone that people trust, that's why they voted for you. They believe in you that you, you, you could be different in a country where we have corrupt politicians and bloodthirsty people as politicians. They believe that you could be different. That's why they voted for you. And there was a mass murder in your state and you stood out there saying that there were no casualty none when there are videos everywhere there's evidence to prove that they were shooting and killing people and people keep asking the question who ordered for the um cctvs to be taken down at lucky target who ordered that the lights should be switched off the billboard and everything every anything anything that is creating light around that area should be turned off. Who gave that rule? Who did that? They're asking. Who You've did not that? been able to answer that question. The federal government is denying that they did not deploy um, soldiers. Even the Nigerian army is saying the people that were there were not soldiers. So who, who, who sent those people? If they're not soldiers, let's say they're thugs, who sent them? Why are you people not doing anything? You're playing politics with the life of Nigerians? And Mr. President came out yesterday to give a completely stupid and senseless... Whatever he was saying didn't make sense. Whatever he was saying didn't make sense. He sounded like someone that was forced to, to give a statement just to save his face. Lives of... People died for God's sake. People's daughters, people's son, people's dad, people's mom. Pe people died. Innocent souls. And all I see from all the politicians, they sit in front of the camera and they are reading from, 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 from a book. If you are really touched, you will not be reading from a book. This is not a movie. That you read your script and try to try to memorize your lines it's not a movie it is not a joke if you are touched in your heart you will speak 
from inside, not from here. Because everything in your tongues are false. If you're really touched, Mr. President, Lagos State's gov uh, governor, and the rest of the politicians that have come out to speak, none of you spoke from your heart. None of you spoke from your heart like people that are really touched that innocent citizens were murdered, innocent protesters, peaceful protesters were murdered. None of you sounded that way. Yet you want the people to trust you. During the COVID-19, where are all the foodstuffs and stuff that they brought for people to share? You, the politicians, with all the money you have, you still hid the food. Ordinary food. Common food. Things like gari, rice, tomato, maggi, bread, and stuff like that. And you hid them in a warehouse while people were hungry. People were not able to go out to work. People didn't have a job. People didn't have anything to do. And they were crying that they're hungry. Parents didn't have food for their children. And you people hid everything that they donated. Shame on all of you. Shame on all of you. And what I will say to Nigerian youths, don't be distracted. Because I see some of you are beginning to get distracted. Stay focused. Stay your course. We're very proud of you. You people did good. You surprised everyone. No one believed that Nigerian youths could unite and fight a battle like this. If you tell people, they will not believe it. But you people did it. And kudos to you guys. Bravo. We are proud of you people. Keep pushing. And I see some people are busy calling out people that uh, people went to uh, uh, Lekki Toge to Ginger, other people to go and fight. But when the time came, they ran away. Youths, I tell you this. This is not the time to judge people. Because united we stand, divided we fall. Do not judge anyone. Be happy and proud that people started this fight and they did their best. And those that lost their lives, they are our heroes. We will always remember them. But what the politicians want is for you people to fight amongst yourself. And I see that people are starting to post things on Instagram that doesn't make sense. And I do not think it is cool. Stop it right now and stay focused. This is just what I want to share. Thank you guys. God bless Nigeria. God bless you all. Someday we will get that change that we're all fighting for. We will. Bye.